I got an email today from a gentleman named Michael. I'm going to keep his last name private out of respect for him. Uh, in the interest of anonymity, like I like to do for most people, unless you specifically you know, ask me to give out your last name, but I don't really see a point in it. But he wrote me an email and asked me about getting a cell phone, getting cell service here. Says he's coming to Ecuador and he wanted to know what he should do about cell service. So uh, I thought I would just do a little short video and answer him on this video and that way we can share the answer with everybody else and as soon as I come back we'll get started on it. Hey! Oh, rock a cheek. Hello there. Okay, cell phone, cell service, if, here's what I did, okay? Michael, I came, before I came to Ecuador, I was with AT&T in the United States. I wanted to keep my phone number that I had for the last 15 years. The first thing I had to do was unlock my phone. Now, fortunately for me, I bought my phone, which was an Apple iPhone, and I was able to go to AT&T's website. I was actually able to unlock my phone with help from the AT&T website. So that was the first task, get the phone unlocked. Okay, the second thing I had to do was to, to make arrangements to cancel my account. Okay, now I made arrangements with AT&T to close my account. Uh, I believe I set a date that was two weeks after I arrived here, okay? And on that same day, I was able to, and I don't know if you can do this now, we had to do it a little bit differently. Since I had a Google Voice account, which I recommend everybody get, get a Google Voice account. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything, and it's, you, it'll, it'll be a lifesaver for you. But anyway, on the day that I made the arrangements to cancel my account, unlock my phone, I opened up a I went to my Google Voice account and I ported my phone number over to Google Voice okay because you know how it is when you go from cell phone service to cell phone service you can keep your same number you can keep your your uh, cell phone same cell phone service whether you go to T-Mobile or AT&T or whoever okay but since Google Voice offers a phone service you can transfer your number to Google Voice there was, I believe, a one-time fee that I had to pay. Oh, hold on a second. Jesus Christ, what am I waiting for? It is after 5 o'clock. Got, got to have a drink. Uh, so, I transferred my service to Google Voice. It cost me 20 bucks. That's the one-time fee. 20 bucks to transfer my port, my phone number. Not transfer. Port my phone number over to Google Voice. Then... When I got to Ecuador, I personally, I went to Claro, C-L-A-R-O, I put it right here, okay, Claro, and Claro is probably the biggest cell phone service here in Ecuador, there's another company called Movistar, not Movistar, it's Movistar, M-O-V-I-S-T-A-R, Movistar, I, I believe that Claro is the better service and the reason why I believe that is that I've been out and about with Stella she has Movistar I have Claro I've been out different locations throughout this province and where I had service and she didn't okay I had cellular service and she didn't I'll give you a good example Soka the cancer hospital Soka hospital the cancer hospital in Porto Viejo I have I always have service there cellular service and Stella doesn't okay so you come here you, you ported your phone number to Google voice you come here you get your regular telephone you can take your phone go to Claro with it and get a sim card and then you will have an Ecuadorian phone number at that point if you have an eSIM if you have an, a, a phone with an eSIM in it same thing you can just have your Claro service ported to that eSIM that way you always, well, once you get your Ecuadorian phone number, then by the way, that's the number that you want to register to WhatsApp, because that's that's task number 
three or four, it's important. Get WhatsApp, okay? You should already have it before you come here. And at this point now, you have a phone. You have your previous phone number at Google Voice. If you need to make a call to the States, then you get on your laptop. You can actually do it on your phone if you're on a Wi-Fi. And you can actually log into Google Voice and you can make a phone call, local phone call in the United States, off your old number. I do that whenever I need to call somebody in the States. That's how I do it. I do it from my computer with a headset and a microphone. And it works perfect for me. I do it often and it doesn't cost me anything it cost me the twenty dollar one-time fee to port the number over and that's it okay here i have a local number here which i've never used because i'm always on whatsapp or messenger but if i have to call somebody in the states like i said i use my computer and i call my google voice number and the other thing too whenever i have to get like a pin code for multi-factor authentication from somewhere in the United States, like for example, Social Security. When I had to reset a password at Social Security, no, well I had to do something with Social Security, I had to get a PIN code to authenticate myself. And what they do is my Social Security phone number is my old phone number back home and I just use that for the number. Social Security sends the PIN code to that number then I get an email through Gmail because it's all connected okay I get an email through Gmail with the pin code on it and then I just type it in I'm good to go okay so I hope that helps I don't know if, you know if you have any questions leave them in the comment section my email is in the description you can send me an email just like you did this one here and I'll see what I can do to help you okay I know a lot of people get confused about cell phone service and what to do about telephones when you get here, and it really doesn't have to be that way, folks. In my opinion, based on what I did, use Google Voice for my U.S. number, I have Claro here for my local phone number, and I use WhatsApp and Messenger for messaging. Okay? Hope that helps you. Have a good one. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, bite me, okay? And I say that with peace and love. See you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.